Hello everyone, Luke Fussmith here. Prepare for another lengthy encyclopedia Dramatica reading. This is one that I wanted to read um, about a month ago, something like that. But I was recovering from my second cold of, of the um, of the year, and I couldn't read it because it was a it's a lengthy one. This one's going to be of Ethan Ralph, the little gunt that. Oh, where do I fucking start? I'm just going to read it. Um, and um, you can put in the comments what you think about it and about him. Ethan Ralph, also known as Le, Le Ralph or Le Ralph Re Retort, he used to be an SKW until they until they discarded him for being too fat, five five foot one inch and two hundred and forty seven pounds. BMI of 46.7 and never could understand how BMI works but apparently my BMI is lowered because I lost weight last time I checked. After which he created a pro Gamergate related uh, Gamergate website called The Ralph Retard and quickly descended into lunacy. He often brags about being a journalist because he runs a clickbait Gamer, gamer gate drama new news site. Despite him not not being able to spell to save his life, repeatedly publishing fake news stories, and violating even the most basic standards of journalism ethics, upheld by even, but even by the Ligurnos, he constantly badmouths. But in reality, he is nothing. He's nothing but a barely recognisable blogger appealing to a niche audience. The majority of which ha has either quit the has either either quit the cause or had already or or had already personally a alienated. Let me just click. Yeah, okay. Need to make sure I click record. I buy this video I'll be wasted. The, o the, the only reason he bothers to continue writing is to try and com convert what remains of Gamergate into a neo-Nazi group he believes he, he can command by gathering a group of ED trolls. He doesn't realise are just fucking with him and ordering them to dox anyone in the GG who is centre who is centre left or dares to make fun of him. All of this to satisfy his addiction to e fame. The moment at, at the moment Ralph is safely nest, nestled away online or in his online hug box where he fang, frantically alternates between spending his his time trying to drive anyone out of Gamergate who isn't an, a little Nazi like him throwing hysterical fits about constantly getting get, getting trolled while stuffing his face with burgers and holding court with his secret circle jerk of fans about these issues most of whom are trolls who have doxxed people in GG including him personally while he cries about it and now continue to do the same thing while pretending to to want to help him to fa to face so so they could place the blame on hit on him even even in more drama and then laugh at him behind his back so that's like the little tiny little bit uh, introduction who is Ralph nobody can't really disagree with that he is a nobody Ethan Ralph is a fat and short redneck fuck with a stupid accent who runs the Ralph Retort, commonly referred to as the as the Ralph Retard, with no, I know, <coughs> a blog no one, no one read in t until he starts talking shit about Leah Alexandria in the wake of Gamergate. The uh, the only people who still re read about it it now are a circle circle jerk of his 
cronies, trolls and trolls pretending to be part of his circle of, of cronies, even even the fine drama connoisseurs of ED have now dropped him since he hadn't been handed an actual scoop in like six months. Got a like a quote here. My name is Ethan. Ethan, I recently graduated from USG. Is that yeah USC Upstate with a degree in political sci science. I live uh, I live here in the Upstate now. But I am originally from M Memphis, Tennessee. My my life here is what what brought my opposition from war on drugs into sharp focus, seeing firsthand the perils of asso associated with associated with preoccurring illegal substances. The violence often needed to control the places of purchase while. All, while, all, all the while witnessing the devastation caused to large swaths across my age accord because because of an illogical, ineffective and insane approach to drug control policy here in the United States. Often that policy and the laws associated with it are enforced unevenly and harsher, longer and more restrictive punishments being meet, 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 meted out to, to people of colour. This is this is an additional outrage that also helps spurn me into action and activi activism. I support the reformation of marijuana laws along with an entire rethinking of our approach towards all substances and the way he tweet people who use him. And that was Ralph who could have guessed it, that he was a druggie. In reality, Ralph never cared about Game of Gate, who does? And it was and was only in it for the e fame, imaginary power, ad revenue, and and because he he, he is literally the cartoon stereotype of a game ga of a ga game gamer gator that that feminists rightly accuse them of being i.e. a fat white deeply racist and mesotic m m m oh, that, oh, that word again loser who own who is only using the pretense of ethics in games to journalism as a front to felicitate Facilitate, I don't know, his attacks on women online in the name of conventionalism, something that was proven when he was when he was exposed, having a secret chat room where he preferred women, referred to women he dis disagreed with, with online as targets, and and li literally plotted how to bully them off the internet like a cartoon villain with the help of a group of trolls who are just taking him for a ride. Currently he continues to try and split the movement, threatening people out in the open since there's no point of hiding it anymore, and labelling traitors to his Nazi party as Gamergate Plus, SKW Light and, and FX Cucks. For actually trying to get people to uphold journalistic standards of ethics instead of what he thinks is the true goal of a GG. Oh, that's Gamergate, by the way. Killing all the trannies. <laughs> Ralph gets trolled over and over. Fuck, be nice. FBN. The tagline of his blog translation, fuck. Fuck trying to be a sla sa savage shred of dignity by not acting but hurt every time I get trolled. Seeing how ironically thin skinned Ethan is, he became a favourite target for, e for every troll fucking with both sides of Gamergate groups like BA BAPH, GNAA. A team, Cow Kiwi Farms, BWC, EDF2, and ev any other 
and every other troll community online started me messing with him making up shit about him to watch him flip and arguing over who docks his fat ass first it was EDF2 you you quid stealing Ephes <laughs> Ralph is but hurt like over a 20 year old joke we actually got a tweet here um, from Ralph retort from his account the guilt become unbearable so I, I finally admit this yes I did murder a girl behind an Arby's back in 1988 is that true is that did he really did is that true? does anyone have proof on that I, d I don't know if that's true or not um what was okay this one now the first signs of a joke Ralph would soon become was when someone mentioned Arby's to him you see everyone on the internet knows that Glenn Black raped and murdered the girl in 1990 but everyone but Ethan Ralph that is yeah this was someone else by the looks of it it seemed this 10 year old internet joke about Glenn, Bla Glenn Beck stole from a 20 year old joke ab about Bob Saget has reached everyone's ears but somehow missed Ethan so when someone asserted it was in fact he who, who raped and murdered a 13 year old girl behind an Arby's dumpster in 1995 Ralph become enraged and claimed and claimed down to this day oh Ralph became enraged and has not claimed calmed down to this day okay he continued to run and rave about it for several months and then he realized it was just an old meme unwilling to admit his mistake he claimed he was it he claimed that using an old meme was part of a diabol diabolical scheme by trolls to make people think it's true yeah i thought that wasn't true i thought he was incapable of doing that his react his reaction was all the proof everyone needed of what a gullible easily rustled fool he is accumulating in parental trolling campaign targeting him that continues to this day 8 Chan Bap Hummet Drama in February 2015 he, Ralphie got involved with an edge as fuck group Bap, Bap Hummet after the Blue Cross Blue Shield hack and SSN and and the SSN and credit info dump on I oh, this is like going into the picture it's like is that no it's not cut off okay it's just the way it's um, been formatted on that in in February Ralph Wiggum <laughs> started whining about this funny shit on his Twitter and homepage how how Blaphomet endangered all of Aitlan and how they should be shut down but really it was just a co coherent ex ex convenient excuse to try and get him for him to try and get rid of them because he was mad that they had been laughing at him for a while and tweeting RPs at him Docs Black Hermit special school participants saw what a whiny bitch it Ralph was and decided to step decided to step it up a notch they promptly doxed him n not n o only not really because most of the information had been already dug up by members of your friendly neighborhood ed so once again it was completely useless exposing e exposing his ssn phone address in bed family of cows and autistic looking sister slash girlfriend they then proceeded to send pizzas to his house why do people do that like again it's like every single docs and trolling attempt they always send pizzas to people's houses I, I, don't, I don't get it I mean I if it's paid for then good they, they're obviously fucked up because they paid for it and you get free food but it's just a thing it's like why do people like to send pizzas to people's houses it's a, it's a lot better than, than getting swatted but yeah it's pretty, pretty odd I don't know 
But the docks isn't all they found. You see, not too long ago, Ralph was a fat, pathetic bastard with no prospects, much like he is now. He frequently he frequented a leftist blog called Daily Daily Cos, and wrote a number of shitty posts about Don Emers and f and feminism. Considering he now believes anyone who supports any kind of feminism. Feminism deserved to be raped. That is too fucking harsh, Ralph. Come on now. No one likes feminists, but don't don't wish death and rape on them. It's horrible. The fact, the, the fact he once wrote semi-positive things about it with all the ammo was all the ammo everyone needed. The script, the script kiddies of black and what is that like a special school then? I don't know. Try to portray this as red hot evidence of him being an SKW, to which Ralph responded with a massive butt hurt over the fact that he that it was exposed he wasn't always a neo Nazi. Everyone ga everyone gathered around and laughed as Ethan tried not uh, tried to appear not mad an act an act which failed more spectacularly when he when he got on a two hour long live stream to scream and then get drunk while spilling spaghetti all over the floor <laughs> and by the way we're not watching any videos we're not looking at any pictures because this is going to be a long 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 video it's still on the docks okay Above is a supercut of all the best moments of Tard Rage that's no longer available so um, it's been claimed by Ethan and Ralph, for fuck's sake Ethan but I'm pretty sure that it's been copied and reposted somewhere Of all the best moments of Tard Rage and Crying during which Ethan spends half the time whining that people are mad at him of attacking trannies online before calling Hot Wheels a crippled motherfucker much of the dismay of the Hot Wheels is literally Jesus crowd because he asked Hot Wheels himself to delete the thread about him on Bismos Bismomet and Hot, Hot Wheels told him to go fuck himself not included in the part where allegedly after Ethan passed, passed out King of Pol flashed his dick on the stream and Ralph got a YouTube strike <laughs> <laughs> well, soon after, Eight Chan decided decided a word word filter with any links to Al Ralph's page, in which he he was constantly spamming there. No one cares about the shithole anyway, since the real V slash V is on Four Chan. But Ralph was determined to look like an idiot over it leading to his first in the long line of pathetic one-sided excommunications wherein he he declared a clan to be no longer part of a game gate according to him ralph got on twitter and cried about how he got doxxed after he kicked a hornet's nest in the first place cyberbullying and in acting in an act of stunning hypocrisy so while Ralph op openly outs trannies, also with information dug up by us, false re f reports false allegations as facts, and Oval engages in recast trolling, he then turns turns around and denounces Bath, GNAA and BWC, and probably ED once he reads this article for doing the same things I wonder how old this article is I don't think they got dates on it micro penis and swatting SKW scam Ralph continued continued homosexuality led to Braff's favorite tactics to be unleashed upon him making shit up while some might consider this shit this shit here trolling Ralph was particularly subsequent to people making making up shit about him, and fo and photoshopping the evidence, Braff shooped some fake emails to make it look like Ralph paid him to swat Devi Ivers. And e even though everyone knows Braff is full of shit, 
no one would no 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 one would ever would <clears throat> no one would take their word o over that o o over that were do documented liar liar like Ralph. He still expectedly flew into a rage. They then spread pictures of of they they <clears throat> I'll read that again. They then spread around pictures of a tiny tiny penis that someone on the board claimed to have uncovered and told people it belonged to Ralph. These are not adding we are not adding the actual pictures to the article in case Ralph tries to falsely report us for revenge porn. It's probably a smart idea. Then got Gamergate porn star Mercedes Guerrera to make fun of it. However, one potential explanation for the constant ceaseless ce ce Unlined hard rage of Ethan is that he actually had a micro penis. Well, that well, that's not really uncommon. Most pe mo most fat people his his weight they they don't have a big dick anyway. So there you go. Either way, mentioning this to Ralph and he will he will become positively livid because it totally isn't true, guys. Ex girlfriend, keep. Keep your sight. That and hashtag Gamergate are all you have left now. Allegedly, her 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 last words to Ralph. We can't confirm the source, but if she if she said it, she wasn't wrong. One particular person of note who was trying who was uncovered by the docs was Ethan's then girlfriend, Mosey she is of of note due to how ugly she is. Bath tards wasted no time doxing her as well and make it, and making many failed attempts to fix her face with Photoshop. Not long after this she broke up with Ralph. No no one can be sure it was due to her doxing or Ralph treated her like shit, probably because Ralph treated her like shit. As evidenced by people overhearing him on stream, failing to light, light up a cigarette, and then drunkenly screaming at her, Get me a lighter that works, in his typical redneck voice, like a trailer park wife beater. Yeah. She, she packed him in because of that, I'm pretty sure she would have done. <clears throat> Got another quote. As a Colombian native, I have never understood the hype for this place. It's an average source. It's an avid sauce and the, and the barbecue itself is often soggy. With too much sauce mixed in and not and not of good quality. Also, it was founded by a total it was found, found yeah fa founded by a total racist who would sell racist books inside the restaurant and fly the Confederate pla flag outside his restaurant. Eventually, the stores had to stop selling his barbecue sauce because it, because it was such such a racist. How is it ever, ever worth supporting that kind of garbage? And that was um, probably his girlfriend, social justice progressive like Ralph. Other dramas: Ralph gets pwned by Leo Pirates. We're not even halfway, by the way. At one point, Ralph got mad at Leo for stealing his scoop about Sarah Butts, but 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 he did one of his precious streams and invited Leo to debate him on stealing the great videos and not give, giving him credit for breaking the story. That was already on ED and various clans days before. Ralph starts a live stream by laying down some rules and saying everyone to be civil and not scream for two seconds. Then after he breaks his own rules. <laughs> it quickly devolved into Ralph whining, raving his tiny one inch thimble penis claiming he, he, why he stole, why he's the sole defender of truth and justice for no good reason and becoming amazingly indulgent when Leo dared to suggest that he's not important, gasp. Yes, Leo admitted neither he nor Ralph matter because all they do is report on the work that other people have dug up. Ralph nearly had, had a stroke 
at the idea that being semi-famous online it's the only I can just do that there we are it's the only thing he, he, he's he's got going for him in life for him in life and he's not even that that really it's meaningless the stream he gets even lulzier as he accuses Leo as being a furry and a dog fucker with zero evidence to back back it up and begins screaming but Milo sa said in response to everything you see Ralph is obsessed with Milo and Milo on his part is embarrassed by Ralph but not as much as he he is by the idea of having to admit he is wrong and that everyone can be a, a ridiculous right wing nutcase. Ralph, Ralph then Ray kicked Leo and some other guys off the stream. In a few hours, he deleted everything out of Butthurt. However, people who watched it testified to what a lol cow he is, and Leo Pirate spit secretly recorded the best part and, up, un, and uploaded it for you to hear in case Ralph tries to delete fucking everything and there's that video there so you can watch it if you wanted I'll, I'll put this article in the description so you can see all the media stalking Brittany Wu at one point Ethan had the bright idea to stalk Brittany Wu he once showed up uninvited to one of her speaking of engagements and started secretly filming her like a middle-aged Japanese man at an elementary school. That is fucking creepy, that is. Why would he do that? Even Ru noticed him live tweeting about being inches away from her and posting pictures of her in real life. That is definitely creepy. In real time. Understandably not wanting to be followed by someone who looks like a serial killer who molests the bodies, Ru had him thrown out. An act which Ethan tried to paint as an in egregious attack of his free speech and not the expecting result of him being a creepy fuck. This is from a man who can't tolerate being f made fun of in a voice chat that he himself in in indicated without kicking people out. No context with the photographic evidence of what a creep he is. Ralph even uploaded a video of, of the stalking in action. And the video has been terminated because the, um, the channel has been closed. TRR publishes a fake gamer leak. Got, yeah. Much like the game journalist that Gamergate flings shit at, Ralph likes likes to regularly switch between calling himself a journalist and calling calling himself a, a blogger when time after time he rushes out to public stories to publish stories without verifying them or reaching out for comment and then soon turning out to be fake but the one that, that drove the final nail into his journalist coffin was the infamous C.O.P. Delton leak. For anyone who doesn't know the story, known Gigi Retard and persona non gata king of Paul contacted Ralph and a number of people with a leak he got from from Gaka employee Nick Dalton De Denton Reagan at a, at Gamergate on his private Facebook. After publishing it in an article and then confirming it in another, everyone realised it was bullshit and Ralph wasn't worth, wasn't even worthy of being called a hack. Ralph quickly t tried to shift the blame and did the usual you're dead to me routine, but COP at, at COP, but he still hangs out with him alongside various of others disgraced former Game Gators and who have been ex exiled from the movement for being batshit fun fundies. Got like a, a, a racy picture right there. Luckily, it's um, safe me safe enough for me to actually show on this. So I'm not going to cut it out. Ralph and Milo versus Lena Kay. Now let's keep our eyes on the price and make her check out society. 
people in Ralph's Secret Online Clubhouse trying to take talking about trying to get Lena to kill herself. Fucking hell. Ugh. Most much of much of the most v- retarded factions of Gamergate have been in partial per- slap fights with Canadian prostitute Lena Kenner for not agreeing hun- for not agreeing one hundred percent with literally ev- ev- everything they say all the time, leading to the gang it leading to the charge is M- Milo that name why that that name more who attempted to silence her at one point using using his insane hit hit pieces and reposting several naked pictures of her of, of Lena. She had already posted herself many times before. Unfortunately for Milo, it as much as he didn't didn't want to believe it, Kirzner Ke- Ke- is not easily triggered rad- Radfem just because just because she doesn't she doesn't as- ascribe to his ra- radical band of nationalism. So when instead of getting angry and blocking him, Kasner simply simply explained it calmly while he's wrong and everything in his new story about her is is effectively batshit because bullshit because he is a underqualified tabloid peddler, thereby not allowing him to get to get the last word in which he could desperately try to paint as a victory. Milo had no choice but to call the truce and slink away, only raising his head every few months to try and pick a fight with her again and getting knocked down once more. In the rage by their le- leaders hu- hum- hu- humiliating defeat, Milo's literally white knights rush to his defences, chief among them being our dear Ralph who worships that for being so so, so to, to to such creepy degree to to us to such a creepy degree he actually refers to him as master oh, that's horrible believing he could succeed where his master has failed ralph launched pro, launched a prolonged one-sided war against lena and the the ralph we taught dot com Continuously publish moronic articles with no with no actual damning information about her, and then he des- desperately tried to paint to paint her understandable disgust at being stalked by a fat greaseball as being mad for her for his brilliant trolling. When when this failed, he tried again to post more rare pictures of her. Which only made her look sort of hot compared to his last girlfriend, at least, and got no response from her again. From her, her because again, she has already posted all those herself. When all else failed, egged on by a bunch of ED trolls who are pretending to help but are actually laughing at him behind his back, Ralph turned to the saddest of failed troll tactics and pretend and began threatening to write an ED article about her. You would think that being a writer he would have no problem doing this. However the article never materialised because Ralph <laughs> Ralph is barely literally li- 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 literate in the first place. That's funny. Gamer Gates guy's sister kills herself Ralph uses his grief to bully him online. Like, yeah, Ralph is a sad, sad little man. Gather around, children, and listen to this convoluted tale of hysteric, hysterically, hypocrisy. One day, this the sister of Gigi supporter Ashton Lou killed herself by jumping in front of a train. It's a horrible way to go. My dear, it's quick. When some Gigi whore called cult cult of vivian that ralph hated posted about it and mentioned that she she knew her through the gamergate gamergate hashtag ralph allowed one of his writers to write an article accusing her of trying to profit off of her death 
and calling her an hypocrite and for criticising his own memorial peg tourism. M much but b because those two are exactly the same and the expected backlash came he doubled down by writing a follow up which Ralph approved again and accused others of doing the same thing and not respecting Lou's request of being left alone which is what he himself was doing by publishing those articles then for the for the coup de grace, the writer spammed at Louvre pictures of a dead Asian girl lie, lying ne next to a truck. Why, why, why would he do that? Why, why, why would he do that? It's fucking horrible. And then, and then Lou quit the internet and accused Ralph of initially dri intentionally driving him to, to it using his sister's death. He wrote a third article blowing third article attacking him despite the fact that that was exactly what he was doing how can someone be so stupid and hypocritical <laughs> oh, I don't even know how to pronounce that word you might ask, be asking yourself right now well he isn't the writer did, did nothing wrong because he was actually a troll called Wild Goose, a member of BWC who last year doxxed and tried to blackmail Ralph. Everything he was doing using Ralph's stupidity to troll others and simultaneously troll Ralph by, le by letting himself look like an even more of an idiot, Ralph on his part allowed someone who recently doxxed him to write, write on his site because he'll do and anything for more content to keep this blog alive as well as use the ability to d delude himself into believing someone respects him enough for one to want to write it up for him his third his third motive for for let for letting this go on probably because he was actually trying to troll people in Gigi he doesn't he doesn't like offline and since he himself have, has never been able to do it on his own, using his nine hour long barrages of retarded and angry tweets, nine hours, oh god, he uses the sort of bath style trolls he was butthurt about last year to, to, to get it done for him, and saw the opportunity to get rid of someone too, too li li liberal for his taste using his sister's death. He just went for it, and then, and then the predictable backlash came. He finally wrote his uh, this this his own article on the matter, defending Goose and attacking them for attacking him, for attacking a guy whose sister just died and quitting the internet. Oh, I get so tired now. It's like almost twelve o'clock at night. Hashtag OP Wreck-It Bell. Finally, someone got stick of his fat sick of his faggot tree and co collaboratively fucked up fucked his shit up for being a massive homo phase one Ralph loses his, his ad money another quote to be honest the whole advertiser attack method is anti-speech and I wish I had never participated in such a scheme and that was Ralph after lo losing his grack recently after months of Essex SKWs trying to take down his site and failing it was someone from Gamergate who was sick of his shit that f hilariously fucked him over for good by reporting Ralph to Google AdSense to have his ads removed this person is m most li likely cult of Vivian the female Gigi supporter Ralph accused of profiting off of Lou's suicide and has spent most his m m most and has spent months trying to bully off the internet with m statistic slurs, really proving Gigi's credits wrong, huh? Because anyone who supports Gigi without being racist, a psycho, is not even good enough for Ralph. 
COV denies she is solely responsible and coincidentally was banned from Twitter a day later. Izzy G- G- Gelvels took credit like he does like he does every time someone from Gigi gets banned, but it was probably Ralph who reported her out of pure butt hurt. One can only hope that now his his revenue has dried up and he can finally fuck off so he can get the job he needs to support his crippling cheeseburger addiction. Too bad the fat fuck won't be able to get the job at the nearest Mackie D's. That's McDonald's by the way. As he would eat all the cheeseburgers before going on the rampage killing everyone. And we, we, we got a picture of him losing his AdSense. Phase two. Right, wait, wait, what, what, what is this? Some re- reason. Oh, okay, it's, okay, that's fine. Phase two. Ralph's secret pillow f- fort exposed. Recent logs were leaked from Ralph's secret group of friends. In reality, his friends who have spent the last few weeks helping him dox and harass various gamergate women. For not for not being for not being racist xenophobes like him, among them was a GNIA troll who doxed him, an Encyclopedia Dramatica forums troll who doxed him, and a BWC troll who doxed him and tried to blackmail him, a BWC troll who now writes for him and publishes intentionally fake sto- fake stories to embarrass Ralph when he tries to react to him. Probably a number of trolls from other sites. Oh, and also Craig Britton. Can we get, can we get a consensus on this? Just a proposal for everyone else who regularly contributes to the site. No more hit pieces on Gigi Tards. We just wrote a month, month-long non-stop campaign on them. People who, who people who are willing to recognise them for what they are, SKWs, now know about their secret about their dirty dealings. Why bother giving him giving him attention? Let's punch up as if we were no. That was a typical conversation in the tree fort, Ralph discussing harassing people into quitting the tag. The logs which were leaked probably by one of his trolls, despite the only rules being no infighting and no leaks, contain the chronicles of everyone sucking up to him in his hug box to avoid getting banned so they could continue milking him for more insane quotes where he where he admits doing exact doing exactly what everyone who has paid any attention to him in the last year, no one could see him doing intentionally pick fights dox harass threaten and engaging in encouraging in fighting among ev- among ev- ev- everyone who within what's left of Gigi whom he deems not extremist enough in an attempt to purge the movement and turn him into the KKK who will fight the SKWs under control while while giving him the admiration he desperately craves. After the fact, uh, after the fact came the usual circle of Ralph seeking revenge and vowing to find a guilty party. He does this a lot, and the trolls who are actually responsible, convincing him that it that it, it was not them who fucked him over, and that and that is, and that it is. While rather, rather some random person they claim they have exposed who is the true culprit again. Ralph brought, brought it and continues to believe the people in his tree for his friends and and have his best interests at heart. He is easily controlled it sounds like. It's worth mentioning that, that Ralph was moment. Was was so moment, m- m- momentarily embarrassed by the leak that it's the only time that he didn't immediately immediately try to write up a blog post about it in an attempt to milk his failure for views. Phase two point five suing the bro team. 
Ethan has flung himself at me a few a few times now for no other reason than to be humili humiliated and it is more bizarre each time and that was Team Broth Pill their views from the situation are after we reached out for them for comments. Because he accident accidentally got memed on too hard, it seemed that Ralph is tied at Bro Team for being too brought and wants to sue them. No one including B BTP knows that no knows what, what Ralph's fucking problem is with them. Even before this he had attempted to incite a f to in instigate a fight with them on several occasions for no apparent reason, only to be hum humiliated by the only response to his trolling was a was gay laughter at, at, at his expense. Humiliated he had blocked them and continued to tweet about them from behind the internet wall. Just prior to OP Wreck-It Ralph he changed his avatar to a parody of theirs at, for no apparent reason due to some imagined um, imagined sight that they had committed against him despite despite n n never even acknowledging his existence so it was an opportune time to get to get him for him to get his shit wrecked and for the bro team to retweet the leaks after they did so Ralph decided to personally blame them for it and started threatening to sue again the sound of laughter got some tweets here um, team t t bro team pill Tried to start shit on the internet and got my feelings hurt instead. 2016. Ralph said, My feelings aren't hurt, you phony, but your pockets are going to be hurt when I see the fuck out of your ass. And then they replied back, I've got Basco in my so on my side. When this predictably failed and his elite troll and, and his elite troll crew. Spent, spent the night trying to get revenge for Ralph's feelings hurt by trying to dox him and sending emails to someone's dad which he didn't even read the great irony is that people who are now trying to help Ralph dox people are literally the same the same ones Ralph is Ralph is crying about when Gamergate started they said that they were pretending to be SKWs and doxing GG to this day, no one knows why why Ralph hates Bro T so much, but speculations suggest it it's some combination of jealousy for being popular, then him for a while, not being Tea Party retards and built up, pent rage over his multiple embarrassments he suffered as he repeatedly failed to troll him off Twitter. Phase three, banned from YouTube. Ralph's YouTube got suspended due to false spam reports. Most more details as the story unravels, so that that must be new as only a short bit. Attacked a cop and went to jail. Ooh, here we go. Because Ralph has gone total SKW, he wanted to show his sympathy for Black Lives Matter. Never get involved in that group. Just, just fucking never. Just leave it the hell alone and do your own stuff. So he viciously attacked a cop. Yes, seriously, yes. The fat retard, drunk. The fat retarded drunk actually thought it would be a good idea to try and assault a cop, who failed to kick him out of a hotel lobby after his drunk ass fell asleep on the floor there. Because of all the money he made from his clickbait articles, he was able to afford a public defender, and and not being able to pay the bail. Yeah, fucking tight ass. We're, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute we're not gonna go through them all we're just gonna have a look at the main bit in fact we're gonna have a look at it now Let, let's, let's have a look let's have a look so it's basically information yeah he's born in 85 he's a fucking boomer yeah booking date 2016 okay fair enough Seattle for truth. What about that time that Ralph employed a 
a rabid conspiracy crank with a habit of abiding the hand who fed it. Did I miss one? No. Okay. Davis went from s senior political analyst to political editor, then when Ralph went to Gale to manage to manage an editor, and he was promptly to wanted wanted for murdering his own father with a kitchen knife. Fucking hell! This article is wild. Oh yeah, that's right, you probably never heard of this at all because when the shit hit the fan, Ralph stabbed his trusted collaborator in the back like a Jew, denouncing him him as a 33-year-old loser, a political editor, who, who had no regular income. Tell us about your staff pension scheme, Ralph. Then, when when he'd done bitching, Ralph deleted fucking everything about Davis from his site, so he could never embarrass him again. And took to Twitter, where he pronounced himself as a real victim of the sorry affair. Oof. Ralph today, site status today. Ralph continues to run his forgotten blog for for a dwindling audience of mostly dead internet movement desperately trying to come up with content by telling nobodies to write editorials for him and forcibly attempting to turn every meaningless tweet into a article so he could all this so he can continue to cling to to some l last shred of e-fame Trolling status, Ralph's trolls are growing at an alarming speed as he becomes crazier and crazier, yet less credacious, making tro trolling to him easy, making up some lie about him and then watching him rage about it for months on end. E.T. continues to watch this, to watch and document for your reading pleasure. Agenda status, Ralph has so far collectively disowned 8chan r slash k i r i i a and and in individually in, in individually declared various gators dead to him of of among along with 90% of game again in an attempt to purge the movement of of moderates and turn it into an alt white group he can lead. Unfortunately, he's not very good at this, so he just spams at people on Twitter calling him a bitch and a cunt, while a bunch of trolls were trying to make him look bad to all the work for him and help him bully people online in his steed. The Great Irony Ralph got his first taste of attention by attacking Leah Alexander, calling her out for being on an online bully with an insane political views as he tr tried to silence people. Drunk on the imaginary power from running a blog, Ralph became <laughs> Ralph has become Leia Alexander. <laughs> Original YouTube content do not steal. Because he somehow landed an interview with the retard behind social so social um autopsy Ralph thinks he is, his, he is highly respectable news agency now and he now owns everything yes the guy who never owns anything thinks he's big shit um, this thread has been violating my copyright and I request that it is removed if not I am reporting to whoever I have to That statement is pretty fucking funny coming from a fat guy who less than a year ago was asking how to best download YouTube videos. Ralph is the main architect of his own demise. And he got uh, some treats. What is the best so software I can pirate for YouTube vids? Um, keep vid? <laughs> or YouTube Premium? You can download the vids from there. Um, I've actually bought YouTube Premium. It's a lot better than add block be pretty nice work working better than keep vid oh we, oh we did try keep vid okay video grab your vox download from youtube vimo soundcloud and many more 2019 docsville and guntgate 
In the events of 2009 were a staggering fall from grace for the begunted Ralph Ralph male (laughs) after after an almost flawless kill streak in 2018. Did I? Yeah, it's about okay. Things began began rolling downhill, rolling da- downhill, making m- m- marked primarily by the gayest e celeb got together, ever witnessed by a man. Get together on January the 18th, big man Ralph, along with his shy love love shy orbiting companion Gator, a a wig bedecked Dick Masteron, a virgin cokehead and some old man besieged the unfortunate town of Knoxville, Tennessee, terrorising the innocent c- civilians c- yeah, citizens with a repulsive display displays of immersible faggotry and social interlude for three long grueling days. G- even going as far as to re- review as to review Bomber Bar out of evident butt hurt. In other words, Egg has been fucking up clubs. On the 19th, the event peaked into his ill fated VR fighting challenge, where a drug added manlet tried to throw down with his wheelchair bound in no show in, in gun rival, accumulating in a win by default. Many lulls were had that day, and many remember it fondly, and it was regarded as a success by the participants and painfully cringe-inducing by those watching in horror by afar. Many memes were forced into existence from this over extended travity by the dribble-lipped hemets, hem, 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 hemlets, Hel- helmets, helm, helmet, the uh, he- heroes that populate Ralph's fan base, but one gem gem freed itself from the clutches of Ralph's ill-fitting clothes, and let it se- let its existence be known to all. The gunt, many many caught at at the at the gland f- flesh of <laughs> Ralph's hanging underbelly, and s- and soon it has decided to take its life on its own <laughs> even burying the false meme into its own medically and then it became known that the Ralph male fears the gunt, gunt gate was born <laughs> that is funny <laughs> 2020 pulls close video is private we can't watch it anyway on December 16th it is troubled Ethan Ralph fat fat ass and sexual deviant was arrested for revenge porn his case was ultimately dismissed because the judge for exposing the, the jury to Ralph's sex videos would violate the 8th amendment for approving an unusual punishment <laughs> uh, we've got some pictures of them so we're not going to see them though because this video is going on 2021 Ren Gunt Clyde do a look 5.1 bit he, he's look at him look look at him he, he's in the red he's fucking short and tubby jesus christ no you look more like 411 <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving human lampoon struck again in march of 2021 ralph was dating pencil party IRL power word amanda lynn morris who was the ex-girlfriend of get this diggy pro an old transvestite, apparently this cum dumpster le- left her shit in the, in the tranny's house for half a year when Diggy Bro be- Beltrex a, a be- 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 told to come get her shit when the fat, fat ass hillbilly river, river fat ass hillbilly in, sh- in tow the following slap fight took place not gonna watch it I'll put everything in the description, don't I? What you mi- witnessed there were not two gas giants colliding, but a effort producer of the dick show, no- known as Riley, getting pulled, getting pulled into co- co- copler or orbit.
by a gunt of a similar size and madness. <laughs> Wiley and Ralph exchange insults and gravity, va- gravity waves, which eventually escalated into Ralph committing home invasion by walking inside the house uninvited. R- Riley socks him in the face, and then everyone but the tranny jumps in. In the end, Ralph be- begged for his cell, bo- cell phone back, lolly dropped it in the house, and play- and played himself off as a victim, and in real life, tough guy after delivering one last sucker sug- punk. It's a dick move, come on now. Um, we got some tweets from him. Dickie Bone and his crew of leaks had decided it would be a good idea to tw- to pop May's stuff out in the van yesterday when she when she wanted to come out and collect. If she was hiding like a bit bitch when we got he was hiding it hiding like like a bitch when we got there. But his crew started talking shit and attacked. It was me versus like three or four people. Me- Maleficent. So there's only about it was one on one. Come on now, I've even seen that video before. It was definitely one on one. I'm fine, lol. They are weak as fuck. They only lit. They, the only lick they got was short ass Riley sucker punch me with some ring or something metal split my lip. I then had blood over my face and I was laughing like the Joker. It was pretty epic. This seems. Like a good time to reveal my plans to recast Digly Pro for the Killstream Network. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go drag a do- dollar bill through the local homeless shelter, and see what we find. I am not joking. I'll probably, yeah, I'm prob, I'm, I'm prob gonna do it. Pay this homeless dude to talk, to talk anime as Digly Pro. Like, yeah, oh God, cringe. It was later determined by Edie's crack forensics team that Ethan is in fact five and five two, but only when laying flat on his back with this gun to- pointed towards the Evans. That's funny. My um, <clears throat> Ethan Ralph versus Miles Poland. In late 2021, some washed-up amazing atheist wannabe Adam Greeny got into a debate on whenever Jesus is made up by the Jews or not with his host of Dis- Descended Right Christ- Christian podcast Le-, Le, God- Le Godcast, Miles Poland. The fight was moderated by by good old Ralphie boy. As expected, Greeny got butt raped by Miles Poland. This, this triggered a flame war on Fe- Fe- Fediverse website Red, 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 uh, website pro, post post in which Ralph was mercilessly mocked by users when an internet tough guy post became a copy pasta. Um, got to see also now fat redneck um, Chris Chan Ralph tried to kidnap him fucking hell um, diabetes ED trolling him Bill Wagner crew trolling him GNAA trolling him, Kiwi Farms trolling him, Aitlan trolling him, Carol trolling him, e- EDF2 trolling him, Baphomet trolling him, Milo, he would he would suck he would suck the inter- internal organs out through his dick only if his master would let him. Transphobia, the the it's it's one thing to be critical of, of trannies, but Ralph just wants to kill them all. KKK declined for faggotry. Hitler, his idol, Leah Alexander, started off writing about her and has now become her. Um, external links, his site, lolkk, his YouTube channel, his most popular videos are of him stalking the room, and a clip of Hot Wheels from a new show, the rest doesn't even have 10,000 views. Uh, T T R R news article blasphemous fed, eight clan cow fed, eight clan meta fed, announcing the word filter, Ralph mad at V for word filtering his clickbait advertisements, the Kiwi Farms fed using his site as a personal imiga from his for his shit photos, and even does so repeatedly. The owner of Gab absolutely destroys Mini Ralph, aka Goose. 
Gaming Gate series, even Ralph is part of a series on gaming, part of a series on the Reichmech, part of a series on 8 and we've got all these bollocks down here. So, this has been a big, 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 big video. Massive video. This has been an hour long. I told you it's going to be long. A ridiculously long video. Um... I am going to do another um, Encyclopedia Nomatica reading uh, mm, end of next week, probably like next Friday, possibly, I'm not quite sure yet. I hope you enjoyed this one, all the information of this article will be in the description and I'll see you guys next time.